It depends on your definition of, me of blessed, <laughs> but yes. <laughs> if, um, people are like, what are they talking what are they about? Doing? <laughs> I don't understand. I had to. I had to, because it's Friday, which means it's time for another Peyton's Late, and Laura and I have been gotten, have been gotten, have been getting very philosophical behind the scenes about um, holy cows, phoenixes, and milk. I mean, because I'm all excited about, the, if you were watching before with the ad reel, you saw the Ox Ventures uh, Dragonlance skins, and Egbert is carrying a standard with a blue phoenix, which somewhere in another alternate universe, Orkira is like, oh, hi, should we chat? So it just makes me happy every time. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm this has nothing this to do with painting broken. Duragar, but but yeah. No, this is... it doesn't, but it has to do with our champion, so it makes complete and utter sense. Mm. Um, utter yeah. sense? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, God, I didn't even mean that. <laughs> <laughs> so you've moved away from a cow to a phoenix. Uh-huh. <laughs> doesn't the cow come with extra... Nah, never mind, never mind. <laughs> Does this mean we now have cows that fly? I don't know. I mean... Uh, Lavash Mauve comes down in a, a big That's true, bunch of clouds. Cloud. Yeah, so I hair. don't know if Lavash Mauve has wings. <laughs> For all we know, the cow has wings. Ooh. I don't know. I've missed enough Ox Ventures episodes that I, I yeah. can't remember if the cow has wings. Anyway, see, anyways, it's, if there's any fans me. out there who've caught up on, on Ox Ventures and can tell me, does Lavash Mauve actually have wings or is it just cow in, in, in the air who sounds awesome because Johnny's amazing? Absolutely. Absolutely. Anyway. All right. So anyways, it's Friday, Peyton Slate time. We're doing episode two of, the, or part two, sorry, of the Durger mini Durger. from Wiz Kids. This is from the D&D Knowles Marvelous Miniatures line. It comes primed ahead of time. We've added some color already. And yes, we are adding color to this fellow because, yes, this one, well, actually, this one is gray, but that one might be gray, but I'm a big fan of bringing color into the world when it comes to miniature yeah. painting. Um, so before we get into picking up with our next steps for this miniature, uh, we do have some cool things that are happening in game, correct, Lauren? Oh, bunches of votes of fun things. This is the last weekend that you can unlock Soul Lock, at least in the event that is going on. The event runs until Monday, 12 p.m. Pacific, and uh, you can unlock Soul Lock in your game, Yay. who is played by Gay Picks, who is amazing. And then if you want to learn more about Soul Lock, you can catch up on Idol Champions Presents Fury of the Black Rose. Episode one and two are out right now and available on our YouTube. And episode three will be airing live this Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific. And then we'll be doing a rebroadcast at 4 p.m. Pacific. Um, but come for the, the live show if you can, not just because it's live mm -hmm. and it's fun, but that's when all the giveaways happen. Yes. And every week the giveaways get bigger and, and bigger, bigger and bigger. And bigger. Yes. And, you know, so come for the awesome story that these awesome people are telling and stay for the possibility of yeah. loot. Yeah. yeah. Come for the story, stay for the giveaways. Exactly. <laughs> and then, speaking of giveaways, this weekend's buffs should now be active. So if yes. you need a little bit of help finishing out those last couple of runs to get some gear for Solok, then you can use any of these champions in the fanciful weekend. And also make sure to check your email because the newsletter should be going out in the next couple hours, depending on, you know, how email works. But there will be a chest code, uh, code for a fanciful chest in that email and and then have fun this weekend with getting the last little bit of gear for Solok and um, getting ready for the next episode of ICP. Woohoo, sounds like a I also don't know wait. what the vote, there should be a vote that's live, but oh, I, gosh. for obvious um, reasons, I don't have the game running right now because- Yeah, I also, I don't have, because OBS and Google Chrome do not like to play nicely together. 
Well, um, here, here's what I'm going to say. So first off, we've got Sean and Gabe <laughs> in chat as our moderators today. Thank you so much for the both of you. If anyone at uh, in the chat has any questions they want to pass along to us for uh, about mini painting, about Solok, about marshmallows and La Vache Mauve, uh, you yes. can go ahead and put those in chat with question in big capital letters so the two of them can grab it and put it into our little backstage chat. Also, if anyone can remember or jump on over to see what the vote is for today, um, go ahead and put that in chat too, because uh, V and I were responsible for proofreading a lot of those, and so we don't remember what like specific one ago. is happening. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> like two months ago, that was in my brain. Now it's gone. Yeah. Now yeah. it's been replaced with other things that need to live in my brain because I live in the future. Uh, <laughs> I know that feel. I know that feel. Anyway. Oh, good Lord. Anyways, let's, let's, let's paint a burger. And um, I now have Depeche Mode stuck in my head because of our conversation and the Vosh Mode and talking about holy things. And it's reach out, touch faith. So <laughs> <laughs> I my mean, it's I... not very weird. I mean, that is that is accurate. Oh, uh, also, the lovely folks in chat. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Mess Duval and Evil Emperor Zerg and Rurum oh, and sweet. Keith G. Um, is Merowyn getting either a um, magic resistance or magic power? Ooh, I like it. Is she Very getting cool. empowered or is she getting some resistance? Hmm. I mean, oh, those are good. Yes. Oh, those are real Quite good. Quite frankly, I'd want the magic power. Yeah, I mean, both of those are good, but I feel That's like cool. because Merylwyn is a druid, she's got yeah. already a stock of hit points she can she can pull up if she absolutely needs I don't know, to. But still, it's I guess I'm I'm such a spell collector. Well, that's what I'm saying. Go for the power yeah. because then, yeah. you know, the resistance, while helpful, she she right. can always wild shape if she is in trouble. Exactly. But but powerful druid spells are like that wall You're of also thorns that she did to the dark lord of koshmar who was an evil druid so give me the power <laughs> i mean you're also speaking to uh carolyn neb stern who while not an evil dark lord of koshmar is also a druid who is all about finding out what kind of power she can unlock so uh-huh uh-huh yeah we both God, have ideas fun. we have yeah many ideas. we gotta get all these druids together one day oh. anyway oh that'd be so thank much you fun. okay thank you chat so we want displacer beast Displacer Beast. Yes. Which, holy moly, we do have a lot of paints for this little guy, don't we? Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, Displacer Beast. I know I had you out. Um, but we're going to take Displacer Beast, and we're actually going to mix it with that, oops, metallic that I told you about. Um, the, the white metallic thing that turns medium. things? Yep. Okay. So in the Prismatic Kits, paint sets. You're going to get this really cool bottle that is called Metal Medium. And this is great because if you look at it, it's got this pearlescent look to it. It's basically an additive you can put into your paints and make the paints metal-like looking um, or metallic if you will. So we're going to add this to black pudding, which maybe I didn't take out. Black. Black or or displacer, sorry, displacer beast. Okay. Displacer beast. Oh, there it is. There it is. Found it. So we're going to be putting this into the displacer beast and kind of creating this navy metallic metal, which I thought would be kind of cool for this. Nice. Because we're going for a really cool looking set of armor. So and I'm going to do. Much... That okay. I was just about to get there. You and I are on the same wavelength. I'm going to do an equal two. So I'm going to do a drop of the metallic to a drop of the displacer beast. Okay. Just to make sure I like the balance. And that way I can go back and forth if needed. Um, shake your displacer beast. Which they kind of self do, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Ooh, that is a really cool color. Yeah. I thought it'd be a fun sort of riff on the usual gray metal, metals, gray metals, mm -hmm. gray metals. I'm getting fancy. The gray metals. The gray metals. <laughs> Sounds oh, like a it does, group. It does lighten up the color a little bit. I wasn't sure if it was going to be yeah, one of those things. It's going to be just... slightly a lightened color. Um, Which is okay. You can see it gives it a really neat, not exactly silver, not exactly blue, but a really cool color for armor. Yeah. So great. I like that balance. I know I have a one on one to one. So I'm going to thin this just a touch with a drop of water because this texture is a deep 
you can oh, yeah. see. So you want to make sure for sure this paint is thinned out enough to keep moving and going through and not collecting and globbing up in those deeper recesses because then you're going to lose some awesome scale detail, which you don't want to do. No. You absolutely do not want to do. Oh, he's so pretty. I love making yeah. colors metallic. And if this I, is something you wanted to keep that darker tone to, you could always add in a drop of um, the black pudding or the black from the paint sets. That was going to be my question. So like, you know, because we've seen it now make this a little bit lighter, not a ton, mm -hmm. but if th that's just really cool that you can just make a color metallic. Oh, yeah. But what happens if you want to add it to a place that is not necessarily that you don't want it to be as bright? Yep. That's all you have to do. You add in a little bit of the... Um a darker tone to counter it. And we're adding this to all the scales? The scale all mail? The scales. So the scale mail on both the wrists as well as the chest. Okay. So we'll probably have to mix a little bit more of this when we go back in, which is totally okay. Yeah, this feels like a slightly easier thing to it's mix. It's easy, yeah, because it's a one-to-one -one ratio and it won't be so bad. <laughs> the Lurking Writer wants to know, when will the show's name officially be changed to Phrase and Slay? <laughs> I mean, that's just our subtitle, that's all. <laughs> Phrasing. Um, and then also they wanted to know, I know it's in the future, but do you have the next mini to paint already planned, or will that be decided when you're closer to finishing the Duragar? Oh, good Didn't question. Did we share the list in our um, Discord? I thought we did. If we did not, then... Uh, that that's my fault. Um, I know the list is the list should be the same. I don't believe I put any dates in there because right. some of that yeah. has changed around a little bit. Um, but I can say so we're finishing up the Duragar. We're going to be doing some Grung and then we're also going to be doing a uh, Orkira kit bash. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be putting together a couple of different creatures to to make Orkira happen. Hey, Lauren, I am me to check with about. you on something for the Okira kit bash when it comes to the custom paint job when we're off Ooh. screen. Ooh, I'm excited. I had a question for you that I keep meaning to ask, and it just reminded me because we were talking about it. Okay. Hey, chat, uh, in about an hour and 45 minutes, just before we're going to get off, I need you to remind me to remind V <laughs> to talk about Orkira things. Remindception. Please. Please remind me to do the reminders because uh, I am that kind of person in where at this moment, what I should do is write that down, but I can't. But your hands are occupied. My, my hands are full. My hands are full. So I'm going to leverage the power of chat. Oh, here we go. Uh, Gabe and Sean are on top of it. Thank you. Thank you. you. <laughs> Together now. Now, quick question, because I see mm -hmm. that this armor set has the very obvious scales, but then it gets right. to a point, especially kind of in the naval area where it looks like yeah. it's... It is not as detailed, but you can still see there are some scales popping out. So I'm literally just treating this whole area with this mixed color. Obviously, okay. don't paint the belt that's right here. Yeah. You don't want to get And then there. that that um, diagonal slash there as well we're keeping... That is also another bit of belt. Okay, cool. That cool, right cool. there goes into through here. And I have done the right things. Yes. Also having to do a lot of poking to get inside. I mean, yeah. these are these are chunky these are scales. Yeah, they're very which is nice scales. It is. It'll be fun for detail work. It's probably going to be a lot of me turning this over and around just to make oh, sure I get absolutely. all the. This is a mini All the for facets. those of you playing the at home game. This is a mini you will be flipping upside down, holding at odd angles, poking to reach little spots here and there. Probably going back and realizing, oops, you missed a spot. That's okay. Just go back in and get those dots and rain eat them. But there's a yeah. lot of texture happening in this armor. Yeah. Now, is this the kind of thing? Because I know with metallics, uh, with some of the straight metallics that we've worked with, they mm -hmm. sometimes need several coats because they are so light. Is this going to be a similar thing now that we've added metallic? If you want metallic? to make it a more intense of a bluish tone, you can. 
you can obviously do another layer. Okay. I'm actually going to use this as a more, um, excuse me, the cat just, hi. <laughs> hi, kitty. Um, you, I'm keeping this as a thinner layer so that we can build on the colors and give it more of a modeled metal look as opposed to a perfectly pristine and brand new metal. Okay. So I'm not going to go in for a second layer. Good to know. <laughs> What's up? I don't know if you can see Hemingway in the bottom left-hand corner, but he is, like, literally leaning against me. Uh -uh. Like he's trying to... <laughs> trying to make me hold him, basically. He's like, hey, ma. Hey, ma. Hey, ma. Me? What you doing? Hey, ma. Hey, ma. What you doing? Hey, ma. Hey, mama. I know you're there. You can stare at me longingly all you want, sir. I know you are there. There we go. Sorry, my Zoom window did something weird. Oh. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. My Zoom window decided to uh, stop showing what was going on for a moment. <laughs> it got so distracted by your kitty. Well, I mean, that's fair. Mm-hmm. No. Absolutely. <laughs> um. This, uh. I, I am seeing some people in chat talking about the, the game might be having some Ooh. issues. Um, oh, okay. I know there was an update that was happening, so if you are having problems connecting to the game, definitely give it a few minutes. Um, yeah. Let's see. I'm going to do... Yeah, the, the team is aware that there seems to be an issue with the game, so if, yeah. if you are having an issue, hang out here with us for mm -hmm. you know a few minutes while the devs figure out what's going on. Um, and... You know, just give it give it a, a few minutes. Oftentimes, especially when an update like this happens, it just takes a little bit to yeah. get them, some things sorted out. I mean, I hear that Destiny took an entire day off just to do an update. Oh, wow. Although lots of people enjoyed the update, so. Well, that's good. Yeah, I have a lot of friends who uh, were very excited about the update, including my father who is oh. an avid Destiny player and, and has a way oh, better light fun. level than I do. <laughs> How uh, fun is that? Yeah, but I heard that a lot of people were really enjoying that. But yeah, they took the game down for, for like, I think it was Sunday to Monday? Monday Monday to Tuesday? Yeah, something, something along those lines because it was such a major overhaul slash update slash other things that... It was just easier that way. I mean, it makes sense to me. Yeah. Kind of hit the pause button for a little bit. With the gauntlets, are you only coloring in the actual scales or the whole thing? I am doing... What, what did I put down? <laughs> whole thing. The whole thing? Yeah. Yep. Cute. Okay. I wasn't sure about, like, the... We're going to do some um, detail work that'll give it a little bit of different colors in different areas. Oh, cool. But for now, it'll be easier to do the whole thing. And this is also why we're working from the inside out, because there's stuff that, yes, my brush is getting. I am completely unconcerned, because we're going to go back over and paint those higher areas up. So. Mm -mm -mm. And just trying to be very careful around this one gauntlet by his beard, because yeah that is a glorious spots. beard yeah. the glorious beard i guess we'll do it this way yeah that'll work sorry if all all everybody is seeing is yeah. the top of my head but but i i no, want to preserve this glorious work. beard i guess it we'll sounds go. like an ad <laughs> the glorious, glorious beard beard yeah Gilmore's glorious beard. There, that might actually be. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't surprise me, right? I was gonna say that might actually be a thing. <laughs> well, we'll have to see when the next season of the Adventures of Vox Machina come out. Mm. We'll have to find out. Uh... 
Mm, sorry, trying to keep keep around there. Oh, thank you, uh, Denja Wolf, for the subscription. Enjoy your emotes. Hey. Um, thank you very much. I'm just keeping an eye on things. Oh, for an update with the game status? Yep. The yeah. the team is, is aware and is hardcore working at it. Okay. Um, the Lurking Writer wants to know, not really a question per se, but I'm intrigued mm -hmm. as how bright the colors currently are when compared to how dark the finished look should be. It'll probably be a tone darker because we are going to do a black wash, but like I've said before, I'm not... I'm not doing the super gray thing because, quite frankly, gray minis are boring in my land. <laughs> Absolutely. So we're having some fun using different colors to kind of keep it interesting. Um, you know, because if, if you go and you look into things inside caves and go spelunking and check out crystals and stuff, there's a whole bunch of color underground. Absolutely. And even if there wasn't, like, yeah. these are fantasy minis. Yeah. And so... uh having some fun with those colors is always cool yeah this is surprisingly awkward to get at because this mini is, is so big it's a little tricky because of some of these angles that are going on here yeah i mean i guess it's good form that this this durgar is holding the the axe with but it definitely makes it hard to get at that one gauntlet yeah. I think this one went with the other one first. I'm like, I'll get the easy to reach stuff first. <laughs> nope, I went I went straight for straight for the hard stuff. Paint around a beard. Sure, mm -hmm. why not? The beard painting. I am loving I'm, how metallic this looks though. This yeah, is so it's cool. A, and I don't think the camera's fully pick I mean, every so often you'll get a glint of it. Um it's just sort of the nature of metallic paint sometimes. Yeah. There's a lot more sparkle going on here than you realize. <laughs> and it's the sheen for me that I yeah. really like that is just Yeah. That definitely gives it that uh that metallic armor look that is well, so it's... cool. I'm also kind of like, you know, tapping into other things and thinking of, you know, something called mithril. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I have to turn off my space heater because it's actually distracting me. <sighs> but I thought that'd be kind of neat to do that as well, because I kind of see this as like, well, certainly there'd be like some sort of magical style metal. And the story in my head is I come up with the paint scheme. Yeah. Well, and uh, you were talking last week about things like... Uh family armor or family mm -hmm. colors on armor and yeah. uh you know all these all these in-game reasons why your Durgar don't have to be all all monochromatic right oh okay i think i'm getting there this is not going to show off well on my camera but yeah well, i do <laughs> well, it's starting to show up now though you're not getting yeah <laughs> yeah we're getting there this is definitely one that's going to show up better when I take yeah. a picture of it, though. Yeah. And then, um, let's see here. Yeah, Bellswin, uh, enjoy painting this mini. It is a lot of fun. It, is. it, it has, it has a lot of the same different. detail that some of the smaller minis that we've done have, but because it is enlarged, like the the actual scales on this scale mail are so chunky, and it's yes. really, it's really fun. It's kind of satisfying. Yeah. Um, just, you know, all that goodness. And yes, I had to pull out from underneath the camera because the camera was fighting an angle I needed to reach something. How dare you, camera? How I dare? Mean, it's the nature of the game. So be it. Yeah. Uh... Speaking of the game, if you're noticing you can't get into the game right now, sit tight, Dynamite. We will be with you. Hopefully it'll be up and running again soon. Yeah, take this moment to stretch, yeah. get some water, ask us yes. questions. Stay hydrated. Speaking of which, uh, come to our Discord, discord.gg slash Champions. There we go. I said it. Drink. Oh. Yeah, the chunkiness of this mini is half the appeal, really for sure. Is. And it has some weight to it on its own, just as a plastic mini. It's surprisingly solid. Yeah. I don't regret putting it on the base, uh, you know, attaching it to something for holding mm -hmm. purposes, but it definitely 
it definitely has its own weight to deal oh, with. For sure, yeah. But it is helping a little bit, especially in these awkward angles, getting around a beard. Mm-hmm. Because I don't want to make the beard metallic. Although a metal beard would be metal. Yeah. Ha ha ha. I was going to say, beards are metal in my book, but hey. <laughs> I mean, especially a beard this big. Like, that's right? dedication right there. That is a Once... glorious beard for sure. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Once... Once you've got that much facial hair, I mean, that that is a chunk of time to take care of and to groom, but it is it is so cool if, yeah. if and when you do it. Oh, I missed a scale. How did I miss <laughs> scales? What? As opposed to you missed a spot, I missed a scale. I missed a scale. It delighted me hearing you missed a scale in terms of the phrasing, not that you missed the scale itself. I gotcha. I'm just so used to hearing, oops, missed a spot. No, missed a yep. scale. A very specific scale. A very, yep, it, it was. <laughs> it was one very specific scale. And it was uh, extra surprising because it was on the breastplate part of it. Oh, and it's okay. it's one of the ones that's, it's not hidden. It's just sticking out there, waving in the breeze. How did I miss it? I don't know. Oh, in scale, paint me. Yeah, but I'm just taking care of this gauntlet, and all of a sudden I look a little bit askew, and wait a second. Hold on just a minute. Just a moment. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, let's see here. I'm seeing a oh. question about the hammer, right? Yeah. Okay, very oh. easy to do. Um, you haven't started painting yet, have you? <laughs> That's actually, I have a question for your question, and then I can give you the answer. Yeah. Have you started painting yet? That is the first thing I need to establish before I can guide you further. And while we're waiting for that answer, the, the question is literally uh, from Bellswin. Uh, my hammer is a little bent. V, how, how to cause plastic memory again, which I like. I like that phrasing. Ooh, Bellswin says no. They have not Ooh, started yay. painting yet. Okay, so all you need to do, this is going to be super, super simple. Get yourself two bowls. In the one bowl, you're going to want to add boiling hot water if you have like an electric tea kettle or something like that basically what you'd use to brew a, a tea or something like that you want it at that level of hot pour that into the bowl and you're going to dip the hammer into that uh hot water for about 10 to 15 seconds tops don't over soak it because you could do things like starting to pull the primer away from the mini you don't want to do that um as soon as you've hit your count of you know one mississippi two mississippi up to 15 or 10. Uh, you then want to dunk it into a bowl of very ice cold water. And what that process does is the heat wakes up the memory in the plastic to go back to what it was supposed to be from the mold, as opposed to what might have happened with it where it was resting in the blister packet and was putting pressure on it or something like that. Um, the other thing you can do is that if it doesn't snap itself back to attention like it should, you can manually go in and move the hammer around and hold it as straight as you possibly can. And then you would dip your hands into the cold water while holding the hammer to get that straighter line going. So. Yeah, my hammer is pretty straight from a couple of angles. It has, it's not perfectly straight, but it's one of those like, it's not worth going right. through that process for the tiny little bend, especially since I'm sure in the painting process, I'm probably going to bend it anyway. Uh, hopefully not too much. Yeah. But mine mine actually came out pretty, pretty straight. Awesome. And you're very welcome. And, you know, happy to give little tips and advice. And had you have already painted it, then I would suggest getting a hairdryer on low heat and very carefully warming up slowly. Because if you do it too fast, you will crack the paint. Mm. Um, and hello, Cypher. I just saw you pop into the chat. Oh, and they say I also got this. I also got this mini in the mail yesterday. Hey, good timing. Oh, sweet. I'm excited to see how you paint up your durger. 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 Now we're just like. singing it. Durger. Durger. Yep. Yeah. Durgar. It's a fun word. Durgar. Okay. I 
think I might I think I might Under have found finished. Yeah, I'm just looking for bits of I mean at this point I think I got all the scales, but I have found a couple of the, the chunkier scales in where mm. getting a different angle has shown me mm -hmm. a part of a single scale that I'm I missed oh, like I spoke too soon. The bottom of it. I forgot. I need to get the um back of that gauntlet. Oopsie. Ooh. Uh, Cypher says, uh, I got the Intermediate Whiz Kids set, so excited to really crack into it. Yeah. Nice. Is the Intermediate one the one that comes with this metallic yes. additive? Yes. The metallic additive comes in the Intermediate set. Yeah. That's what we're using to make this blue. Well, mine's not going to show off very well, but this blue be all uh, metallic, and it's super cool. I am so excited to just. Not fun. I just want to go and add that to all different colors and see what it looks like. Oh, you can have a lot of fun. You can have almost like too much fun with it, quite honestly. But yeah, that gives you your... It's funny, sometimes my camera picks up the spots before my my own eye does. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a different angle, right? Like, yeah. Even, yeah. even as much as you try to look at all the different angles, just having the camera there. Mm-hmm. I think um, I'm thinking that's where I want it to be. Yay! I'm checking right. in on a few things while we find out. Okay, what's next? Because I think I got all the Okay, so scales. I'm gonna want that to dry just a little bit before we go in with any additional dry brushing. Okay. Um so we're gonna let that dry. And while we do that, we're gonna go down to the boots and we're gonna use dark flesh tone on the boots. Probably wanna thin that out as well, because again, these boots they have texture. Which is and this is just the the paint. No, just the flesh tone. Just no, just the... nope. Oh, hold on, my earbuds falling out. Yeah. Now, where oh. did I... Why is this so? There it is. Oh. Little dot, and then because the boots are definitely more of like a leather-like texture, so we're gonna go for a nice dark leather boot. Let's see. Are we getting the uh, hmm. buckle and strap on the boot as well? Yeah. Uh, once you finish the boots first, don't start trying to paint around that scale area until uh, that's well dry. So focus right now is on the boots. Okay. Um, and I saw uh, Belzwin asked, uh, Lauren, were you on a one-shot game last night? Not last night. Um... There was a game that I was in that wasn't a one shot on Wednesday. That's uh, episode one of the um, the Adventures Guides of the Multiverse, which is happening over on the uh, Dungeon Scrawlers channel with our, our very own Trevor as the DM. Um, and I'm uh, Orkira Returns. Yay. So it's a six part series uh, of us floating around the multiverse. And that just started on Wednesday. We're going to be every other Wednesday for, I guess, the next 12 weeks it would be. Um, nice. We're alternating with um, a couple of the other Dungeon Scrawlers. Uh, so Rhiannon and Yang Yang have joined us. And then there's a different game happening opposite us so that we're, we're back and forth, which is a lot of fun. Uh, and episode one just happened... Um, I know it's going to go up on the YouTube at some point, but that is, I don't know when, uh, but it is definitely still available in VOD. So if that's what you're thinking of, that's, that's what I was up to two days ago. Last night, I was just uh, taking care of some work while watching Critical Role. There you go. And desperately trying to catch up on Critical Role because I, I got a couple episodes behind because of good reasons, but for reasons. Right, that happens. Yeah, I'd been I'd been keeping up pretty well, and then um, there were a couple episodes where I got through most of it, but then it was one of those. All right, they're going to go for another hour, and I really need to sleep. Oh yeah. And then there was an episode or two that I missed, and so I had to do some some hardcore catching up. Thankfully, uh, crit roll stats is a thing. Like, I'm just going to read what I missed over the last hour. That does help. I'm 
trying to get the. the don't worry about getting has the. This... Hmm? Go ahead. I was gonna say, don't worry about getting the the uh, dark flesh tone onto the buckle. It's okay. Yeah, and so I'm also trying to get the lip on these boot. boots. Yeah, there's like I said, this has a lot of texture to it. Um, definitely recommend thinning out your paints for this one so it gets into the recesses and everything. Oh yeah. Uh, Lurking Rider says, catching up on Critical Role, I'm on episode 50 of Campaign 2. Hey, listen, uh, as long as you're enjoying it, um, and Campaign 2 is tons of fun, but it is, you know, that's one of the joys of that show is those episodes are chunky. And uh, so it can take a while to get through. So enjoy the ride. I kind of envy people who are who've just discovered Critical Role thanks to the the anim animated series, or right. um, you know missed out on a season and so are catching up on a season because those are awesome characters, and you know you only get to be surprised once by them. Exactly. Oh, why are why are you doing that to me, Boot? What did the Boot do? It's ah. Uh... <laughs> There's a spot between the legs. I'm not sure how to get to. Oh uh -oh. no. Uh oh. There's gonna be a lot of poking. <laughs> poke at poke, it. Poke, poke. Yep. Yep. Oh, let me check in. Pardon me for just a second. I'm checking no. in on game. I know what you're mm -hmm. doing. I know what mm -hmm. you're doing. Do as you need. Mm -hmm. I got quiet because I'm trying to edge right now. Mm -hmm. Like I'm going to focus because I don't want to put brown where I don't want the brown to really go. Speaking of brown where you don't want it to go, I just put the paintbrush in my mouth and then I got paint <gasps> all over my ring light. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> ah. Oh, well. Oopsie. Oh, well. Oopsie. It's... It's not the it's first okay. light I have used for this show that has uh, paint all over it now. I think it's almost a rite of pas passage for the equipment on my desk. It's going to end up getting some sort of paint on it. Mm hmm. There's just no way around it. And also, the base is just going to end up getting a little bit of this yeah, on it. Yeah, well, that's why it's kind of like we'll do the base towards the end. Yeah, I a lot figured. Of this is, is plotted so that you know we're painting areas that we can work. You know, if something strays, it won't be catastrophic, so to speak. Yeah. Well, um, the other good things go about this, yeah, this mini being as big as it is, is we can do things like work on a completely different part of it while another part dries. Uh huh. Which ah. is definitely a thing. Wow. Ah, the game is back up. If uh, you've been patient, thank you so thank much for being you. patient. Well, well, a uh, few things were fixed, but if you, um, but yes, you can boot up your game again, and it should be working. And now you can go ahead and vote in the poll and pick up your uh, weekend buffs and all that fun stuff. Which I'm going to do after this. Oh, lovely. And I'm probably going to be voting for Merylwyn to, to get power. I got the power. Yeah. Because druids with power are fun. Oh, boy, are they ever. And you know what? She's... Uh, the Ox Ventures don't have the same kind of stat boost that, say, the other characters do. Oh, yeah, yeah. So they deserve a little bit of an extra oomph oh, with some of their agreed. stuff. Yep, very much agreed. Yeah. I thought I, I saw really someone know. posting that um, these last two episodes, Marilyn has received, has, has taken more damage uh -huh. than she has in entire seasons of Box Ventures. <laughs> oh, no. I because it's such part. a different game, you True. know? True. Which I love. Sure. I love that. It's so much fun. I remember uh, with Court of the Raven Queen with uh, Sharif joining us as Shaka. Because mm. um, Rivals of Waterdeep is another show where it's it's a lot more role play and a lot less combat. Mm -hmm. But 
you know, it's B Dave, so there's there's gonna be some combat. Oh yeah. And hardcore combat. And then watching Shaka just basically wreck things. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, double disintegrate things was oh, yeah, that was a fun boat. Oh, it was so much fun. So just getting the chance to to do stuff with a in a different setting is so much fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm excited to see Rust and Marilyn stretch their their combat legs, as it were. Absolutely. I've just been enjoying the interactions between them. Oh, that too, yeah. Like, they're all meeting and everything like that and kind of getting a feel for each other's characters. And that's always Also, I need, I need to make an entire montage of just Gabe reacting to things. Oh, my God. So expressive. <laughs> so damn expressive. <laughs> It's amazing. I mean, the whole crew is expressive, but I think oh, yeah. Gabe holds those expressions for mm -hmm. a, a wonderfully long time. And mm -hmm. it's just, it warms my heart every time. It so, is yeah. Most excellent. Um, I have definitely found that Re, Ellen, and I all have a very similar sense of humor because when you're seeing them covering their mouths and laughing, I'm doing the same thing behind the scenes. Mm hmm. <laughs> and the call. Oh, God, it's a good group. It's a really fun group. Absolutely. And they've managed to uh, have lighthearted fun moments mm -hmm. on Kryn, right? which is not easy to do. I mean, God, the feels I got when they when uh, the whole Simon scene. I'm not going to say anything else besides you have to watch this to watch the Simon scene. I'm saying nothing more, and it mm -hmm. made me cry. Okay? You got to watch. Yeah. Hundred percent on a request. <laughs> yep, yep. Go see it. Also, there's a moment with Rust. Uh, yeah, there's a moment with Rust in where Rust just announces something, just very, uh -huh. uh, very matter of factly, that uh -huh. basically made me and several of the other uh, people in the call be like, "Yes, <laughs> that's that's a that's a yeah." That's a that was that was. A good one. That mm -hmm. was a really good one. And Johnny had this think... great smirk on their face too after delivering. I'm like, oh, you knew exactly what you're doing, and I love it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Just hearing that mm -hmm. character say say that so matter of factly. Mm -hmm. So yep. you know, like you're not gonna, you're not going to intimidate me with that yeah. because guess what? Yep. So we're not giving spoilers. We're absolutely giving teasers. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying so, so hard. hard. It's yeah. so hard because it's such a good story mm -hmm. that's happening. All right. So I switched down to a very small detail brush. I'm going to go in and I'm going to work on this belt. In the same color? In, in, the, the, in the, the boot color. color? Yep. In the boot color, which is uh, for those using the bottles at home, dark flesh tone. Oh, my. I'm here, Belt. Let's do this. <laughs> yes, Simon says, watch the Simon scene. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I don't know if that's that's uh, Gabe or Sean who said that, but 100%. Simon says? Sorry, Ooh. concentrating. <laughs> yeah. Or or relaxing. I mean, yeah. It's oh, no, a relaxing <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you get down to these details, I do the same thing of just like, okay. I'm not holding my breath, but I'm definitely uh oh, I am holding my breath. Being a little extra careful with when I'm breathing. Yep. 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 Oh, don't get brown on the beard. Don't get brown on the beard. Bum, 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 ba, da, dum, bum, bum, but you don't get brown on the beard. <laughs> Listen, if if I do nothing else, this beard is remaining pristine. Uh, fair. Totally that is, fair. That is my goal. <laughs> Man, I have bizarre songs stuck in my head today. That is apparent. Because now I have It Ain't Gonna Rain No More stuck in my head, which was this kid's song. Oh, yeah. That played on this album. Far too many memories of driving around with car seats in the back and just 
It ain't gonna rain no more, no more. It ain't gonna rain no more. How in the heck can I wash my neck if it ain't gonna rain no more? <laughs> just, wow, that is a yeah. song I haven't heard in, in yep. a very long time. But you're saying you're not gonna get brown in the beard triggered that memory. Yep, uh, my fault. Totally my fault. Totally. I will... No, I'm not blaming you. I'm laughing. I'm like how my brain associates phrases to set off a song. I will totally accept blame for that. I wish I had done it on purpose. Maybe it's just my brain also getting into yeah, something. Yeah. Uh, yes, Lurking Rider. Uh, I'm so happy that more people are getting to see how amazing High Rollers and Nox Ventures are. Thanks to this, I really hope other members of the respective groups get this kind of opportunity in the future. Yeah, the, the it's been so much fun watching the comments, either in the chat or on the uh -huh. YouTube, of, um, of one fan base being giddy about seeing their their characters from their show yeah. in this show yeah. and then getting excited about the other fan base and and everyone mm -hmm. just basically going it's so cool to see you in this yeah it's fun that it is, really is so fun. much fun and yeah it is one of the best things about these idol champions presents is the crossovers mm -hmm. that you get to have But I'm a sucker for any time that there's good character interaction. And so anytime characters can interact with other characters that they don't normally get to interact with. Oh yeah. It's always a joy. Seeing seeing how people react to things, you know. W watching some of these characters and the players react to how deadly Sentry is. Oh that's right. Been fun. That has been epically fun. Like, because I'm, I know, you know, high rollers have kind of gotten used to she's deadly, right. but being right. able to get another, another whole group being like, how much damage did you do? <laughs> well, and plus, you know, both Ray and Sentry are just kindness and sweetness embodied. Uh -huh. So you have these moments of role play where Sentry is just like, oh, let me make sure you have food. I understand you're a living creature who needs food. And then excuse me while I kill this guy. It's just like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Pardon me, Lance. Bonk. <laughs> now you were saying, honey? <laughs> uh, hold on, let me just drop one smite in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty epic. Yeah. It's just such a fun element to play out and get to witness that as a viewer mm -hmm. and then to watch all the high rollers fans in the chat be like yay uh-huh <laughs> look at her that's go just it. that's just like it. being vicariously proud of of sentry mm -hmm. of like this is this is our sentry look at her go sentry's doing it yo i love it i love it so much it's wonderful It's also great getting to see uh, Mark being able to play. Absolutely. And same thing for Gabe, because I mean, both Mark and Gabe are quite prolific in terms of DMing. Mm hmm. But to watch them sit in the player's seat for a while and, you know, have these characters come to life is just so much fun to see in action, too. And not just that, but I feel like since I think all. I think mm -hmm. all of these players are have been DMs, if yeah, not Johnny. Johnny, well, also Johnny as well, getting to play Rust a little bit more than just the NPC. Like, yeah, fleshing out Rust. That sounds weird. Um, <laughs> more. I, there's just so many cool elements that are coming together for everyone. It's just awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm very excited, and it's been such a joy working with them all. I think this is also a unique kind of show in where there are the DMs for most of these characters mm -hmm. also in the game. Yes. Which, I mean, it, it's kind of fun to see. Like, it's never been a question that the DMs for these shows are like, hey, go have fun, go do the right. thing. But like having your DM there to play along with while your character is getting DM'd by another person uh -huh. has has a fun level of freedom to it. Yeah. Especially when the character that your original DM is playing is egging you on. <laughs> go on, uh -huh. go on. 
Yeah, uh-huh. go talk to Soth. That's fine. Totally not a problem. Exactly. Man, this is a <laughs> chunky belt. It really is. I've had to do like an upper and a lower pass on it just to make sure That's, I get the... Yep. Same Yeah. Oh, and I should double check. Since since we're about halfway through, I will uh, remind everybody yes. if you've got any questions about painting or idol champions or about um, crossovers or being a DM, go ahead and put those in chat. So the our amazing moderators, Gabe and or Sean, can grab your questions and make sure I don't miss them while I am hardcore painting a belt. Painting a belt, painting a belt. I'm, I'm almost there. I'm definitely still working on things. <laughs> it's it's definitely slow going just to yeah. just to make sure that I'm getting the uh the lip of the belt. Mm-hmm. It's its own thing. I mean, it's great because it throws some cool shadows into the sculpt, but yeah. Going in and carefully edging. <laughs> Belson says, I love mom tank. Yeah. Yeah. Every group needs a needs at least one character that not necessarily the mom. You know, that's a very the specific nurturer. type of it, well, the protector, the yeah, yeah, the nurturer, the the one who is going to be concerned for the other's safety even when the others are not concerned for their safety. Mm-hmm. It's always good to have that the one. Yeah. To be like, "Hey, uh, did you eat your Wheaties? Did you get some water? Mm-hmm. Did, did you mean, heal that? Yeah. I loved that one time I was on with the uh, D4 crew playing Patty Jameson, my furbold cleric. Yay! And at the end of that episode, they were all asking for hugs from Aunt Patty. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, I kind of love the fact that my big old furbold is just giving these little sweet beans hugs. It's it's a fun element to bring into a storyline. Well, and your fur bulk was also. Oh God. Not. She had she had big favorite aunt energy. Absolutely. She had, yeah. she had my favorite aunt has come to visit and is uh, gonna take mm-hmm. care of me, but also not take any of my guff. Yeah. Hey kids, what you up to? Exactly. Are you getting into trouble? Is it gonna be fun? But are you gonna <laughs> get hurt? <laughs> oh gosh oh i miss patty i i miss patty too i mean quite frankly i'd love to play patty again she's a riot she i mean has... every once in a while there's talk of all of us who have guest starred on d4 right. getting together and having our own game you know like a one shot for charity or something because mm-hmm. there's been so many of us. The only problem would be we're we're all clerics of some sort. <laughs> but that'd be fun. Oops, all clerics. Yep. Although I know Kuzima is more druid now. Hmm. Um. But yeah, we could have we could have Mark Mir back playing his his dragonborn cleric, and then you can right. have Orkira as my dragonborn cleric. Mm-hmm. You can have Kuzima, who's a dragonborn. Clerk. Yeah, I just saw the chat. I mean, all right, MT Carson, you joke, but I have run that game. So uh, I have run an Oops All Clerics game, a one shot, many, many years ago for charity. Um, and fun. then I, I also ran a, uh, a campaign. It was 10 episodes, nine, 10 episodes, also many years ago uh, for Wizards of the Coast that was called Clerical Error. It wasn't all clerics, but it, think of the other type of clerical error. It was that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And, so. and yeah, I would do another oops all clerics in a heartbeat. It was so, so much, much fun. fun. I'm right, sorry. You're, you're we're about over, to go on. Just j- jumping over to woof, woof, woof pelt. Woof, woof, woof pelt. <laughs> woof, <laughs> woof. You got to say it that way. Winter woof pelt. <laughs> Dang it. 
Um, we're gonna use this to dry brush onto the scale male just to kind of enhance those details a little bit. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> Where's my winter wolf? Winter wolf. Wolf and you'll definitely Did I want not a more grab winter wolf. I don't know. Do you need a winter Maybe wolf? I... Oh no, there it is. It? <laughs> it was the very last one in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. So the lurking writer suggests a body swap episode where everybody plays each other's character. Uh, I'm totally for that. However, um, I have to be careful about which character I play because. We, we've talked about it a couple times when Beyond Heroes was going on because, all right, if you body swap with Orkira, now do you got to do the voice? And, mm. and you know, the last thing you want is to, like, spring a, a voice that requires some warm-up on a person. Yeah. So we talked for a while about how it would work uh, and how, how we could make it work without it being a lot of work. Mm -hmm. But yes. I think I think that could be a lot of fun. Is this just the gauntlets we're doing this, or is it we're all the doing armor? the gauntlets and the chest plate? So okay. everywhere we, everywhere we put that metallic mix, it's going on that, and we're playing up the edges of the scale mail. Okay, we'll just make it pop quite nicely. Oh yeah, yeah, that yeah. looks cool. Yeah. It amps it up. It turns it up to 11. Well, that's the other nice thing about th this scale mail is it's so, it's so obvious which way to pull mm -hmm. the dry brushing because of them. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so context for chat because um, this is a carry on conversation from our morning stand up meeting. Um, I've made these lovely chopped apples that have um, brown sugar, a little cinnamon, and nutmeg, mm. and um, craisins mixed in with it. And it's cooking in a little slow cooker pot that I have. And about the time we have our morning stand up meeting, which is about 12 30 my time, but morning time for everyone else, and the house is starting to smell really yummy. And I was mm -hmm. bemoaning how it smells really good and I'm really, really hungry. Um, but I can't have it yet because it's not going to be done until dinner time. Oh. And we were joking about how it was going to be for paint and slay. And sure enough, I just got a whiff and now my stomach's like grumble. You know, everybody's got to take a break at some point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I don't know, have... Not uh, yet. I don't have lovely apple uh, cram... Uh, cooked apples like you do, but I, I do have apples and peanut butter, which is probably oh, what I'm going to have good. after yeah. after you chatting about this. Because, oh, that does sound real good. Yeah. If you hear that's my nice... stomach audibly growling, that's why <laughs> it's smelling yummy food. Yeah. I'm sure your cats are also <laughs> very confused. <laughs> Mother, what is that sound you are making? Mm-hmm. And why, why can't I have any of this food you're talking about? <laughs> Actually, Hemingway is looking to... What are you doing? No, uh -oh. you can't have the brushes. In the, uh, the multiverse game that I played on Wednesday, uh, Rhiannon is playing a sorcerer who has a Tressum familiar, mm, which is, lovely. for those that don't know, a flying cat. Yes. And the way she introduced it to the characters uh, was to talk about how this Tressum appears and how obvious it is from the way they are acting. They have never been fed in their entire <gasps> life. <laughs> that they are just so hungry and it's devastating and how you really need to feed them because they're, they, they, they just have never, ever been fed. Mm -hmm. You know, like all cats are. Yeah, mother, mother how please. dare you starve me? I'm mm -hmm. wasting away into the nothing. But I thought that was incredibly appropriate That's for adorable. an introduction for a cat. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> Especially a magical cat. It's like, yes, I know you're magic. It doesn't stop you from uh, being manipulative. Mm -hmm. We also decided that cats are some kind of cross between uh, a fey creature and an elder god. 
I yeah. I'm here for this reasoning. Mm-hmm. Uh oh yes. Uh Toy for Run eighty five says the last refuge just did a body swap this past Tuesday. Oh, um nice. yeah, so um they've got a wild magic surge table that they roll on on a regular basis and two of the characters got body swapped in the middle of a fight and this is not the first time that's happened uh so they were they were able to navigate it but it does turn into one of those wait because i guess this has been the first time it had happened in initiative so they had to have the discussion of okay wait is the initiative for me or for my body Uh uh-huh (laughs) <laughs> and uh-huh. so you and you on a regular basis had to be like, okay, Flick's body. <laughs> you it's your turn. <laughs> huh? It was funny. wild. Oh, that's funny. And it was happening in literally their epic finale boss fight. So like the culmination of years and years and years of gaming, of adventuring, of trying to Even stop better. the end of the world, essentially. And they're in the middle of this fight, and now this happens. <laughs> that is quite amusing. All right, I think I, like I got it. I got that. Yeah, I think I'm good with that, too. Okay, so then we're going to go back to the boots. Back and to we're going to dry brush the boots and the belt with cobalt scales. Ooh. Not actual cobalt scales, that would be messy. Alright, where are my cobalt scales? Mm-hmm. On your cobalt! Okay, c- come here, cobalt! Where are you? <laughs> Running. Okay. Running. Boop. So cobalt scales is like this nice orangey brown color. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to step away and get a pin. Oh no, did it plug? Uh yeah, it's got a plug. Oh, All right. Shoot. I will be okay. I'll be back in moments. Yeah, that's a thing that can happen. Those are my skills, give back, says Belson. <laughs> These okay, clarification. These scales are not from human, okay? I promise you. <laughs> These have been ethically sourced. <laughs> These scales were donated by Cobalt, <laughs> uh, who were paid handsomely for shed. their donation. That, that were shed naturally. Yes, absolutely. Exactly. Exactly. Ew, why do you gotta do that? I don't know. I didn't no, do it's, anything. Sorry, I, I used the pin to unplug oh. the, the cobalt scales and then and it just then started everywhere. to immediately dribble Whoosh. out. Yep. Oh no. Yep. All right. Okay. Okay. There we go. Sorry about that. Thank you to everybody oh, for your right. patience. Time to Dry brush, dry brush some boots. These boots were made for brushing. <laughs> That's just what they'll do. <laughs> One of these days, these boots are gonna brush out no foot. Can't go that deep, you. That. <laughs> I started too low. Uh, what? 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 There we go. What? Nope, what just now? trying to. Just trying to get this dry brushing working. I don't know why suddenly this... It's like more finite movements because of the texture of everything going on, that is for sure. Yeah. Also, apparently (laughs) cobalt scales has just given me a lot of grief today. (laughs) It's like the theme for today. I think they're a little trouble gremlins floating around doing their thing Ooh, um exp devourer says looks great i have been painting these things for years first one i did was an old unpainted war duke done in that old blue Ah. plastic material they used to use haven't done any in a while though uh yeah that's that's awesome that's old school yeah well thank you for joining us we're we're having a lot of fun and i am learning a lot for sure we're also doing this uh, color dry brush on the belt. Yes. Okay. But starting with the boots to give the belt time to dry. Yeah. How have I forgotten which boot I've already done? What? Sneaky boots. Yeah. (laughs) 
And yes, the, the game is back up for those of you who are wondering. Happiness is. Yeah. Our, our devs are dedicated. Dedicated devs. Dedicated. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm no, don't be. Like... Don't be. That's amazing. <laughs> They're dedicated. Oh, Lord. Listen, everyone knows what they're getting when they come and join us on a Friday. True. True. I mean, how did we even start this show? <laughs> <laughs> Talking about holy cows and hot chocolate. There you go. There you go. No further context even given on that one, folks. You just get holy cows and hot chocolate. See, and now I want hot chocolate. I wonder if I, I have too. any left. I did that to myself. I totally did that to myself. Yeah. Have you done hot chocolate popcorn? No. Yeah. You what? can um, put butter on your popcorn or your carrying vehicle of choice. Yeah. Um, and then you just take like instant... Uh, gonna say oatmeal that's not right instant hot chocolate powder yeah. and like drizzle it and sprinkle it over your popcorn and toss it all together and you get like this buttery chocolatey hot chocolate popcorn okay yeah i i yep this is this is a weekend yep. goal now and you can do things you can do things like toss in marshmallows with the popcorn and add in things like um chocolate chip flakes type of stuff oh wow yeah that sounds amazing. Yep. Yep. Yeah. This is this is weekend goals. Yeah. It's a fun little cheat um, to sort of like making candy corn in a way. Holy cow. And a lot less messy. <laughs> yeah, we've been we've been eating a fair bit of popcorn. Um one of those one of the low calorie popcorns, but they mm -hmm. have this uh lime version. Ooh. That tastes really, really good, because that's oh, the yeah. problem with like you know the the popcorn that doesn't have a lot of calories and popcorn that you know that kind of thing can often just mm -hmm. be bland. Yeah. Um, and I'm I am avoiding cheese, so that limits the amount of right. uh, options for popcorn. But this one hint of lime is super good. Now, what you just described obviously is not a low calorie popcorn, but that sounds no. amazing for a dessert popcorn, and I'm here for it. It's a fun, like, if you're going to do, like, a treat yourself to a movie type of event. Yeah. Evening. It's fun. It really is fun. Well, maybe we'll even do it tonight. Well, the the plan was to catch up on the Mandalorian, mm -hmm. uh, have dinner and watch watch the new Mandalorian. So maybe it'll be dinner and popcorn and Mandalorian. Yeah. The, no spoilers. The trick is it's making sure you have a good amount of um, butter on the popcorn so the powder has a chance to adhere to it. Um you could also try melting it into the butter itself and then drizzling the butter over the popcorn. Just depends okay. on how hands-on you want to get. But it's uh, fun. We'll see. We'll see when I do it how I'm feeling. Yeah. I'm yeah. not usually a, a hands-on baker, but I don't know. Who knows what will happen when we get into it. Yeah. All right. I think I've reached the point that I'm painting instead of dry brushing, so I'm going to stop. You got the belt, too? Uh, yeah, although I Where'd ended up... Go? There's not much on the back. I was basically just kind of getting the yeah I'm kinda, the top and the bottom crease. Yep. That's just it. I'm kind of pulling down and leaving it at that as I go. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sorry, chat. Uh, we've now made everybody hungry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, now everybody's like, oh well, now. Now we, next week, we're just all going to have to have popcorn. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, God. Mm. You too shall know the hunger. A bookish oddish wants to know, do you have an opinion on the best Hammerstassen flavor? Hammen, Hammenstassen? Hammenstassen of what i'm not sure what how much it is to be honest i am not i'm not sure you know what to the googles doo, doo, doo. i mean it looks Let's german Google to me for us. yeah it does oh yes that's why it's askenazi oh. jew it's the triangle things uh oh, the triangle pastries 
Yeah, I only know them as as Hammond's ears. I I didn't know oh. the German for it. Well, there you go. See, I'm a bad Jew. That's why. You're not a bad Jew. <laughs> You're not a bad Jew. Um, You're far from a bad Jew. God, it's been a long time since I've had those. Because no, usually, no, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna give in to something, uh. Sorry, my my brain just no, went totally to to a whole bunch of other Jewish foods. Um, I don't know that I've got a favorite. I mean, any of the jams you're gonna put in there are gonna be absolutely delicious. <laughs> yeah, yes, I'm Jew-ish. That's my my Hebrew is very bad, very very bad. What are we doing? Now Next. we're doing a black wash. We're gonna put the black wash onto the scale mail. I am going to check its saturation, though, because I don't want this to be so thick and zesty that it's going to obliterate that pretty blue. We just wanted to have it kind of gently, gently coat. So yeah. I'm swatching directly onto my wrist. And yay, look at that. That's kind of the consistency you want, not thick and gloppy. Hey, nice and a hint, just a touch. And that's going to go onto the gauntlets and the scale mail of the chest plate. All right. Oh, that might be way too much. Mine's the right consistency. I think I just put too much on the brush. That's fair. You can move it around. Hey, buddy, buddy. Yeah, because I want this armor to be weathered, but not not take away from all of that awesome... Yeah, it will uh, mute the blue slightly. And that's, that's okay, as long as it's yeah. still that metallic that was super cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, the metallic will show through once it dries up. But it just helps kind of create this really neat undertone to the metallic armor. Yeah, poke, 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 poke. There we mm -hmm. go. Yes. Thank you, everybody in chat. <laughs> um, my my fellow folks who have Jewish heritage who uh, know the pain of well, I'm Jewish enough, you know, because there there is a lot of that. Um, mm -hmm. There's a lot of that for those of us who are second and third generation uh, Jewish in America. Mm -hmm. I learned enough Hebrew many, 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 many years ago from my cousin's bar and bat mitzvahs, and I've lost most of it, if I'm Aww. honest. All right, but... so this kind of gives you a side by side of that's with the wash. Oh, yeah. That's without. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm being a tiny bit lighter on this than you are, but that's, that's okay. okay. It is your mini, after all. It's mine! It's mine! Mine? 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 <laughs> Watch, they're gonna clip that. <laughs> Listen, we've both been on the internet long enough to, to be prepared to be ready exactly. for all that. Exactly. I've I've been clipped doing weirder, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. That's also a movie I haven't seen in forever. It's a good one. It is. I'd say I need to go and watch it again, but I, I just am not that person who rewatches movies, if I'm honest. Mm, if I'm just honest fair. with myself, which I should be, and that's <laughs> fine. I'll suggest it to Luke, and then Luke will rewatch it because he'll put it on while he's drawing or something. And then oh, no. I'll just walk by a couple of times so mm -hmm. that I can get some good memories. I mean, that's a good way to do it too, though. I've rewatched and or watched stuff thanks to walking past Luke while he's watching things quite a few times. And it's it's perfect because it's the kind of stuff that I'm like, okay, this is really good. Mm -hmm. It's just not my cup of tea. And so, you know, I, I get little 
pieces and bits here and there, and then nice. he gets to tell me all of the fun stuff. Nice. Uh, did I met? Did I get between the arms? I can't. Did you get the underarm pennies? I don't know. His I left hand. That. Pitties. Yeah, that bit that's like right next to his beard. I just. Mm -hmm. I think I don't have any wash on it, but it's so hard to see. I gotta do a poke. Okay, I'm putting it down now. <laughs> Put the mini oh yes, uh, Onyx Squared, we're talking about Finding Nemo. Sorry, we should have actually oh, mentioned yes. the movie. Oh god, yes, Finding Nemo. Yep, yep, yep. As the movie's like literally playing through my brain right now. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, yes, Lurky Rider, I do have to wash the beard, but not yet. And probably not with this color. That's my nah, guess. I'm not gonna get there yet. Not not full throttle, no. <laughs> That's full annoying. throttle. Blackwash. Full throttle beard. Yeah. Full throttle Durger. <laughs> yeah, we've got Garwar in chat. I feel like we should get Always uh, suggestions watch from Yes. 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 <laughs> That's a given. Yes. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I'm sure Garwar is is quite an expert on the, the care of giant epic beards. Mm-hmm. All right. I am almost there. I just have this other side to get. Yep. Uh, for those that have come in from the game, hi and welcome. We are finishing yeah. up day two, part two of our enlarged Durgar. The part one is up on our YouTube if you would like to join us. If you would like to find all of the information on the stuff that we're using, brushes, paints, that kind of thing, that's up on our Discord, discord.gg slash idle champions. Mm -hmm. um, something else I was going to say and I totally forgot. Yeah. Oh, well, I've got about 40 minutes to remember it. There you go. It'll come back. Yeah. It's all right here. coming back. All coming oh, back yeah. to you now. I feel like I have to shade Hi, this thing in order to show it off. I hear you right. <laughs> the, the underskirt part is coming out real nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that you can see. Mm-hmm. Uh... All right, what's next? Okay, that's a very good question. Uh, now we're going to go to the umber wash, which is basically a fancy way to say brown. Uh, and we're going to add that to totally to the belt and the boots. I almost said underwash. I'm like, nope, that's underwash. not it. That's under dark. That's what you use in the under dark. Oh, there we go. It's right up front. <laughs> it was standing and waiting. And this is the belt and the boots, you said? Mm-hmm. All right. Hi, Hemi. <laughs> hi, kitty. Everybody say hi to the kitty. He is social today. What's doing? Hi. <laughs> hey, I need that arm. No, I need that arm. It's, it's mine good. now. I want the attention, Mama. I want the attention. Also, I, I looked over and Garwar said, Lauren, I thought you said shave instead of shade. Thank you. And my... I did too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, apparently you and Garwar both got uh, very confused. And I apologize for my lack of enunciation. No, it's fine. It was kind of like, that's funny what? though. Yeah. Oh, and I saw you like cupping your hand like, oh, you're shading. I get it now. I can get it now. No, I would never. Sh I, I'm not shaving this mini. This this Durgar knows how to take care of their beard way better than I do, and I would never. I would never. <gasps> All right, I just tip the camera down just a little bit so Hemingway's little self can make his appearance, make your presence known, sir. Yep. Never shave a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> That's a song. Lurking That's a writer. song lyric. Lurking writer. <laughs> ah, don't break me. I'm trying to paint. <laughs> yeah, Never Shave a Dwarf is, is the title <laughs> and the lyric of a song I, that I, I'm going to come up with eventually. It's, see, you want song. I went to like stories like if you give a mouse a cookie. I mean, why not both? Right? <laughs> it's a cautionary tale. 
You give it if you if you give a dwarf a razor. No. that point uh, of the day uh-huh oh it's giggling oh. time all right belt here we go what yes kitty we are laughing at you ha 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 <laughs> man i always love it when leather boots have a nice amount of texture to them oh yeah that's fun that's all kinds fun. of wrinkles and folds mm-hmm Uh. What happened? Nothing. It's just uh, I'm on the belt, and I'm trying to only get the wash on the mm -hmm. belt and not on the blue. And it is. It helps it if is. you float the brush uh, just along the top of the surface mm -hmm. and hold it sort of like uh, parallel to your desk and just let gravity work with pulling the wash down and don't oh, worry too okay. much about getting the edges see and that's exactly what i was just looking at was the yeah. the front navel bit with the really mm -hmm. deep edge of the belt yeah yeah and just, wondering... just work the brush across like this and let gravity help you fill in those little bits will do as to trying to line against the sides yeah Remember, if you get a little puddling, you can just take a brush that's been dipped against a paper towel to dry it off a little bit and wick away the puddling wash. Now that's a fun tavern name, the puddling wash. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I've leaned so far. Out. I've leaned out of frame. You following the brush? Is that what we're doing? I just saw Lurking Writer's comment. Lemmy's face is following the brush. <laughs> Garwar, quote, if you shave a dwarf, they'll put a grudge on your whole family. It really isn't worth it, and it leads to great calamity. From the book, if you shave a dwarf, probably. <laughs> and now a dramatic reading from the book of if you shave a dwarf. If you give a dwarf a shave, <laughs> you'll have to start I'd running. And if you have I'd to rather... start running, you have to make sure your boot's on. If you have to make sure your boot's on, you need to make sure you grab your cloak of protection. <laughs> You make sure you mm -hmm. grab, your, grab your cloak of protection. Oh. God. I'd rather give a dwarf a cookie. I'd rather give a dwarf a cookie, yes. Mm -hmm. And a good mug of ale. <laughs> also, thank you to everybody reminding me to remind V about the thing. I, 20 more minutes. But you got to remind us at the end. Reminder to remind Tw us at the end. 20 more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Twenty more minutes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a snooze minutes. on that alarm. Mm -hmm. Please remind me in twenty minutes. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. what's next? So hold on. I have many notes. I mean, it's a big durger. It is a big durger. Okay, durger. so now we're going to get um, leather brown, and we're going to do the edging of the tunic, tunics, I should say. Okay. So both of those edges, these lovely bits here, we're gonna make that leather brown. Okay. My stomach is crumbling. I very much relate to Pooh Bear right now. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? Oh, there we go. And it's just straight leather brown? No. Mm -hmm. Straight awesome. leather brown. Thin it out maybe just a little bit if needed, but no mixing. All right. Time for my tiniest brush. The itty bittiest of the bits. The smallest of brushes. For this giant mini, the smallest of brushes. <laughs> yeah, people are having fun with the if you shave a dwarf. <laughs> we, hey, listen, we give chat long enough, they will I'm write an happy. entire book. I am here for this. Now we just need to find someone to illustrate these images for us, and we're going to have a grand old time. <laughs> I 
I mean, or we turn this into a a D and D adventure. Oh my god! It's an NPC I could who puts you on a quest, and like you have to pull together all the things that the dwarf requires. Mm-hmm. And it all starts with the, you know, give a dwarf a shave. <laughs> so there was a great calamity the other day. A prank mm-hmm. happened. The perpetrators have been uh, thoroughly chastised, but now, now we have a problem. Oh, no, don't do that. No. Uh-oh. Now, my tiny, tiny brush, I'm trying to get the the edge, the corner. Yeah. And it doesn't want to get this rounded corner, so there's just this white line. <laughs> it just keeps... Oh. Bunk, 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 bunk yeah. on either side of Dunk. yeah I'm it's like a it. Roomba in a, s- a squared off room yeah can't get to the corners there we I was go. watching this really funny Instagram reel and it was Queen's I Want to Break Free playing in the yeah. background and it was just this this front door that was kind of like, you know, the door was slightly ajar. You were looking out into the front yard and you could see cars going by on the street. I'm like, okay, confused as to why this song and this image are combined. Yeah. And as soon as I finished thinking that, you saw the door swing open more. And then a beat later, you saw the house Roomba like had left the house because the door had been left ajar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I watched that clip about six times in a row. I did. <laughs> I wonder if the Roomba was ecstatic or horrified. <laughs> like, I've broken free. I've gotten free of the confines of this house. How dirty is it out here? Right. Oh, why is this place what full of mess. mud? What a mess. But oh my gosh, I was like, now I got the song reference. Yep. Yeah, those those quick videos are a lesson in waiting for the punchline. I think, mm-hmm. I think TikTok and Instagram videos and th- those really, yeah. really quick videos have been an excellent place for people to learn about comedic timing. timing. Exactly. But yeah, that one totally, totally got me once I realized what was going on. See, now I have that song in my head and I'm happy because Queen is awesome. It is very much a fantastic song. All right. How am I going to hold this? Fill it up so I fill it. I guess I'm going to hold it this way. Okay. I mean, that is one of the other uh, subtitles of this show. How am I going to hold this? Mm hmm. Here, hold my mini. Mm hmm. <laughs> We're back to the relaxing silence again. Mm-hmm. It's also the edging on these tunics are a little more narrow than what was on the belt, so. Oh, yeah. Concentrating is a thing. But it's also fun to see the color go on because you can see the difference. It goes from looking as. I think the white also is amping up the color a lot, so once yeah. you start putting on the tan, you can see it's pulling the color in a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh and no, I don't want to get the diggy diggy hole in my head. I just looked up at the chat and I saw what um oh. <laughs> I mean in in honor of of Mr. Mark Humes, <laughs> mm-hmm. we could diggy diggy hole. Mhm. Now I'm going to keep queen in my head. Yeah. I'm going to keep I want to break free. I'm going to hold on to that for a little while. Free. I want to break free. And I just realized we talked about straightening out the hammer and Mm -hmm. how to go through that process. And I just had to look because I've been using the hammer as a as a pivot point for my hand. Uh And I'm like, okay, have I been I I hope I haven't actually pulled the hammer out of whack, but I think I think I'm okay. It still looks okay. Okay. Well, I just I just realized what I was doing. I'm like, oh, this is probably a bad place for me to put my pinky. Well, good news is we haven't painted it yet. Yeah. So it's still salvageable if for some reason. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm good. 
That's good. Oh, but I got... I got brown on the pants, and I know that's a joke. You got peanut butter on your chocolate or chocolate on your peanut butter? Oh, uh, no, get off of get off of my pants. I know everybody is laughing at this, but there's there's no other way to say it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I like the green of these the, pants. Uh, the brush trick. Yep. Okay. Yep, 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 because these pants need to stay green. The good they news is this green. is a more yellow toned brown. So the very worst case scenario is you kind of mute the brown as best you can and go back in with that bullywug hide and do a fresh dry brush and it should help remedy it. Yeah. I think I got most of it. It it, it had bled over onto mm. the pants. Don't say anything. Don't. No. Don't, don't say anything. Don't go there. Yeah. And so I just had to quickly grab some water. And so now I think I got it all off. And so the pants aren't brown. Don't say anything. Okay. So I think I can go back now. <laughs> there was a moment of panic. There was a, there was a moment of eep. Yeah. Could hear yeah. It. Yep. Could hear it. The eep. Because, yes, it was also in a very uncomfortable spot, and I didn't want any of that oh. to be happening. Mm-hmm. I knew as soon as it happened, I'm like, well, I, I, I can't hide this. Oh, boy. All right, let's try this again, except this time with less uh, brown on the pants. Don't say anything. I'm seeing something. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'll just be over here painting. Okay, that's better. That's way better. Happiness is? Uh, happiness is brown in the right place. There. It's been one of the, the both the good and the bad things about getting better at mini painting mm -hmm. is now like my detail standards are higher because I know that True. I can do it. Yeah. And so now I have less, there's less, uh, eh, it'll be okay. Right. And more, no, I know I can do better than that. Yeah. You raise your own standards with each mini you paint. Exactly. It's definitely a thing. You aren't alone in that thought process. Many people, <laughs> yeah. you know. I did this better the last time, so I know I can do this better again. I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. Well, I also have uh, some new tiny brushes nice. that I got recently that are yeah, tiny, Whiskey tiny, tiny. Some very nice for their prismatic paints line. I'm liking this Those one. are really nice brushes. Yeah. I was very, very impressed. And so, yeah, having having a brand new tiny, tiny brush that doesn't have, I should have bought a brand new, I should have brought, bought a new tiny brush a while ago. I did not realize how much mine had frizzed. And now getting this edging, it's like, oh, this is so much easier, even if it's still intense. <laughs> I have the magic school bus in my head. <laughs> <laughs> you said frizz, bring up Miss Frizzle, and then and and that's all took. Bus theme song in my head. Yep. I'm mm -hmm. I'm still clinging to. I want to break free. Mm -hmm. I'm still mm -hmm. hardcore clinging to that. Nope. The magic school bus has usurped the break free. <laughs> I am sorry. I'd start singing. I want to break free again, but then the. The, the Twitch it's music fair. people are going to be totally very fair. upset. They're like, there's something happening on this stream. There's a lot of almost tunes going on mm -hmm. here. I mean, I may not be the best singer, but I can at least sing well sing enough. Joy, sing, and get joy from it. Yeah. That's all that matters. That's what it's about. That's what it's all about? Do the hokey pokey. <laughs> Do I knew it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, corners. Corners. <laughs> so it's it's hard for everybody to see, but Pivot. I'm currently. Pivot. 
I'm currently doing this. You're doing the, the friends light. version of pivot, but for the mini, it's corners, corners, uh -uh. corners, corners. Yeah, the corners of this tunic are hardcore. They are. And so I'm just braced up against my whole chest to get the the right angle for this. But that's good. Oof. All right, I need a break. Yeah, I'm getting up. I'm like, I'm tensing. Oh, oh wow. It's already 135. Yes, uh, time is flank. Yeah, any, if anyone has any last questions, uh, last call for questions, because we've only got about 10 minutes left, 10, 15 minutes. Um, so if you have any questions about mini painting or idle champions or uh, corners, go song. ahead and get stuck in our heads. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's easy. <laughs> Apparently that's... today, for sure. Yeah. It's not taking much. And then eventually we'll all go get some food. It'll be great. Mm-hmm. And this is why this Durger is going to take yeah. at least three episodes. Yeah, 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 yeah. All these lovely, lovely corners. All the littlest of the details. Yeah. Ugh. We're almost there, though. I've almost got it. Yeah. We're definitely making good progress, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, at this point, the whole lower half of the mini is, is looking real good. Yeah. Like, there's still some stuff to do, but it's it's taking on a respectable coverage stance yeah it's reached that point of the mini and where you can you can really see what it's going to look like mm -hmm. and maybe i can even hold it up to my camera and it won't completely blow out right. the camera because it's just covered in white cameras will be like no that's no it's far too nope. pale for my liking you were not allowed mm -hmm. yeah. okay 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 This is also one of those areas in where, um, when we were painting before, mm -hmm. it was like, okay, don't worry about the edging too much. You know, try to avoid it, but don't worry about it too much because mm -hmm. you're going to be painting over it later. And yeah. so now I am noticing those points in where I did not do as good of a job avoiding the edging, avoiding the this part oh. that we're painting brown. Mm -hmm. It's like, wow, I, I really... <laughs> painted outside the lines here, didn't I? Oh, but it's coming together. Yeah. Here comes the boy. Hi, honey. You're back Everyone again. Everyone say huh? hi, kitty. You're back again, huh? Floofy tail. The floofiest of the tails. At least in this house. All right. Me... I don't know. Your cats are pretty darn floofy. I, I think they could win a floof competition. <laughs> I'm joking around with my friends last night because I have this um, offline game that I'm starting to play on Thursday nights and loving it, by the way. Um, nice. But my kiddo came in and he loves to show off the cats, even though my friends have all seen my cats before. Yeah. So um, the funny thing is, is I realized just how big the two main coons are because of how... Um, my kiddo brought the cats in and like had to walk back towards that green couch to get the full scope of just how long the cat is to fit in frame. It's <laughs> <was> like, whoa. <laughs> like, okay. That, that is a long cat. Had to get some cat. distance from the camera mm -hmm. in order to get the, the full scope. Exactly it. That was exactly it. I was like, oh my lord. All right, I think. <gasps> I think I got it. <gasps> Sweet. And I think, think I got it. what we can do now is go to um, the gunmetal. All right. And we're going to have a little fun and do some um, gunmetal dry brush. This is where we had a little, a little visual interest added to those gauntlets. So we're going to do the gunmetal on the scales. 
and the okay. silver on the flatter bits and the spikes on the knuckles. Okay. Okay. Just lightly dry brushing those to kind of enhance. I'm going to start with the gunmetal though because it's a darker silver. So then I can always use the lighter silver if for some reason they slip a little bit. Makes sense. Yes. Alright, so gunmetal on the scales, scales of the gauntlets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is a cool nice color. Lovely. Yeah. That is a super cool color. Yeah, it that... will go a very long way. I'm noticing that as I keep brushing off on the paper towel. I'm like, all yeah. right, when it when 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 okay, there we go. Yeah, add some of that blued mm -hmm. back into it. Yeah. Are we also doing the gunmetal on the scale on the chest? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I just figured with the time we have left, we'll probably get the gauntlets. I'm not sure if we'll get to the scale chest plate. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. That is the plan, my dear. <laughs> wow, this stuff really likes to just stick to the brush. Mm -hmm. I keep thinking I've just taken a tiny little bit on the end of this brush and then I'm and nope. wiping it off on the paper towel to get ready for dry brushing and more just keeps coming. Yep, it's definitely, it's an impactful metallic mine is also super runny so I'm trying to be very careful about not overloading my brush and have it just bleed into everything yeah alright <laughs> the snooze button has expired oh. um give me give me Five and a half more minutes on that snooze. Yeah. Oh. I don't want to five and a half more minutes. I don't want to we, we have to end the 10 minutes before. Um, mm -hmm. As as uh, most of you who have been with us for a while have probably seen, we end 10 minutes before the top of the hour. Uh, so that way it gives us a little bit of buffer in case yeah. we get, and by us, I mean just anyone who's on stream. Uh, in case we get distracted or need to finish up something real quick. Uh, but also it gives the person and the streamers after us plenty of time to get set up. Um, so they're not having to rush through things. And it also gives our mods time to switch over and, yeah. you know, just gives everybody a little bit of, of breathing room in between shows. So, mm -hmm. so yes, uh, five more minutes on that snooze. Yeah. Yeah, the true snooze of five minutes. Onto the scale of the chest plate, because I realized, why well, yeah, I have this out and this put out a big glob of it anyways, I might as well do it now while it's there. Yeah. We have the time for it. I will join you. There you go. There you go. That's a really cool looking metal now. And then I'll jump over to the silver and do those accent details. <sighs> do, do, do. You know what's funny is I genuinely forgot what you're supposed to remind me. <laughs> I, at this point, remember. But you know what? That's, that's why the chat is awesome and uh -huh. Snooze is amazing. Uh-huh. And But what I remember is not the thing you need to tell me. It's to remind you to tell me of a thing. So it's going to be right. fun when that yep. moment happens. Yep. Um. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going in with the silver onto those flat bits. All right. Oh, have I run out of paper towel already? Nope, I'm still good. Yay, she's good. Frantic last minute paper toweling. Oop, bring that up into frame, sorry about that. 
<laughs> yeah, I think it's definitely gonna be time for a new dry brush. Yeah, that happens. That is absolutely a thing. And I have a couple of them, but I'm apparently I'm way harder on my dry brushing on my dry brushes than I am on all my other brushes. Silver. Fair. Okay. Let's see if I can finish off these gauntlets in time. Oh, I remembered. What the thing was supposed to be. Oh. <laughs> the thing that you need to talk to me about later that I'm going to remind yes. you to talk to me about, yes. but I don't know what yes. you want to talk to me about. Yes, I at least remember what the thing was. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah. I, I still appreciate that uh, snooze on that alarm, though, chat, because mm -hmm. once again, if it's not written down, I will forget about it in three right. seconds. <laughs> That's just the way it is. All right. So this is looking pretty good. I'm liking this. Yeah. We've made progress. The boots are basically done, as are the belts. And we now have the gauntlets and the chainmail shirt done. So that means we're going to go in and we're going to finish up working on the edging that we have on the tunic as well as the hama and the shield and the pauldrons and all that fun stuff will be next episode and the base we don't want to and the, the base, base. it's all about the base but yes we're making some really good progress with this fellow i'm enjoying it me too sweet even if the edging is <laughs> is a challenge, but it's a challenge I'm up to. Mm-hmm. Come here. Um, did I well, get you can't do the cute meow and then run away. Come here, honey. But that's what I do. I do cute meows and run away. Come here. Come here. Come say goodbye to the chat before you go. No. Come here. No. I'm not feeding you. <laughs> hey, I'm hungry, too. <laughs> Come here. It's like the, the Stephen Wright joke about... Uh, calling your dog stay. And so you go, come here, stay. Come here, stay. Come, stay. Come here, stay. <laughs> come here. No. Come here. No. We'll like a... This is part of them. Hi, long cat. <laughs> That's the rest of them. <laughs> oh, here we go. Nice to have me. See? That's, that's the happy stare of a happy cat. He's a good cat. All right. Do you think? Oh, you're purring? Think. Lucky me. Are we gonna get per ASMR now? I don't know. My microphone's rather good at gating that. Ah, I mean that's her. I've tried in the past, but like, nope, don't hear anything. I'm like, you don't hear these purrs? You don't hear the purrs at all? Do -do -do -do. Hey. All right. I'm gonna try to show this off, and it's. I I promise I will take pictures. But there it's we go. It's showing up though now. It's not disappearing into a white blur. Yeah, I just I, I just have to shield myself. <laughs> <laughs> just turn off the light. But especially the color is is showing up real good. Yeah. And yeah, in person, all the different metallicnesses are mm -hmm. looking real cool on the gauntlets and the yeah and the fun. scales and everything. It's fun. All right, so next time is shield and hammer and shield pauldrons and, and, and base. pauldrons and base, exactly. Yeah. We're going to have some fun with that one. So, I mean, we've had some fun so far. We really mm. have. But before we wrap it up, there are a couple reminders, just a few reminders, no big deal. Don't forget, get yourself Solak if you have not yet. If you have not yet, why four? Hurry up and get in there because you get Solak and you get Tempest, okay? You get a champion that rides a Dargan and it's cool. Uh, and so Levitt. Sure. You get, and Levitt's, you get and champion Levitt's. and dragon oh and little tiny dragon. Little tiny dragon. And a cute little Trifecta dragon. Trifecta so, of fun. It is. So make sure you log into the game to get that going. And then if you want to see more of Solok and hear more of Tempest and all the goodness of dragony things, uh, you're going to want to tune in Monday for episode three of Fury of the Black Rose, where we have a fantastic cast with B. Dave DMing, and we have Ellen and Johnny from the Ox Ventures, and we have Ree from High Rollers, as well as Mark, the DM from High Rollers, but he's playing a brand new character, Miria. And um, then we also have Gabe coming in as Solak. 
is a really great crew. They are um, off to a roaring good start with Lord Soth, and things should be getting interesting next episode. So yeah, it's all fine. Everything's fine. At, yes, 10 a.m. Pacific for the live, where we're going to have some fun giveaways as well while you're there. If you miss the live episode, we do a rebroadcast. No giveaways, just FYI on that one. So you can catch and see what happens on the rebroadcast as well. Or if for some reason Monday is just no good for you, we do have these episodes going up onto YouTube the very next day on our Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realm YouTube channel. Um, so I think that was it in terms of, oh wait, no, no, I take it back, I take it back. Don't forget the weekend. Fanciful the weekend. fanciful weekend. The fanciful weekend. So check that one out too. If you have not started already, get in there and start getting that going. And then we have Gar War, not the Durgar. Um, <laughs> no, we got Gar War before us. Garwar, not the Durgar, not before it, or before us, not after. We have, um, is it formation save? I think it's formation save. We should formation know this save. by now. I don't, I don't you Come know on, what? I'm sorry. Formation save. Yes. Formation we have save. I got formation it. Formation save coming up. Yes. With the amazing Sean to uh, close out the day. So if you do have exactly. any questions about your formations, go ahead and talk to Sean. Sean is kind of an Ta-da. expert at those. There you go. Also, right, Sean and Gabe have been our amazing moderators for today. Thank you so much for hanging out and grabbing questions and taking care of things on the back end. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> Sounds like one day you'll get it. We will. We will. It'll happen. We will. It'll be after we're done. <laughs> it, took, it was a whole year of, of getting used to saying Garwar. It's going to oh, take us a little it. bit to get out of We've that been programmed. Habit. All right. Mm-hmm. Anyways, <laughs> have a great weekend, everyone. Bye. Bye.